so very good morning so we were doing circle chapter so i have discussed theorem 10.3 10.4 without proof we will do these theorems because proofs they are being deleted from the syllabus so you just remember the results and uh, let us start with exercise 10.3 in exercise 10.3, first two, uh, first question, second question, it is based on construction, we'll do it afterward. First question I'm going to start with. Question number first, exercise 10.3. Jabuji, you uh, please do send me the attendance. Draw different pair of circle. How many points does each pair have in common? What is the maximum number of the common points? So if we draw the circles, let us see that how many common points they can have. We can draw the circles in many ways. Suppose we are drawing circle in such a way such that they don't have any point in common. Then what kind of figure you can have? First, you can have the figures like this. So they are having no points in common, no common point. Second, they can have, uh, we can draw the circles like this. And in this way, they will be having one point, one common point. Okay, they can have one common point. Yes, Chaitanya, what do you want to ask? Sorry. So the third uh, type of uh, Ma'am, excuse me. Anji, bolo chitanya. Ma'am. Yes, you can speak. If you want, if you want to ask your doubt, otherwise, please don't create mess in the class by uh, raising your hand without any reason. Chilly. So the third. Uh, type of uh, figure that we can draw it can be like this then the circles they will be having two common points in this case the circles they will be having two common points so how many maximum common points a circle can have maximum common point that the two circles can have they are two they can uh, be with respect to one another, they can be formed in such way such that no points in common and they can be formed in such way such that they are having one common point and they are having, they can be drawn in such a, such a way that there are two common points. Second question, as I am telling you, it is uh, based on uh, construction we'll do afterwards. Let us start with question number third. Question number third. Third question is, if two circle intersect at two points, abhi abhi humne figure dekhi that when the two circles they are touching at the two points, how we can draw them. Two circles, they intersect at two points. Let us make the figure. Two circles intersects at two points. I'm taking the points to be A and B. Naturally, if we are drawing two circles, they must they must be having centers. So let us suppose this to be O, this to be C. Two circles intersecting each other at two points prove that their center lies on the perpendicular bisector of the common board. There are so many words in this question which needs explanation before starting the proof. Like uh, you can see that uh, their centers lies on the perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular bisector ka meaning 
of the common code. What is common code? See, I'm having two circles. I draw code to this circle, to this circle, hardly matters. I'm having two circles like this. I draw a code like this. If I rub this circle, this code belongs to this circle. And if I rub the other circle, the code belongs to this circle. That means such kind of code, it, belong, it, it is called the common code. Common code, sorry. So if in this figure, we want to draw the common code of this circle, these two circles, then we have to join this A. Here, AB is the common code which belongs to both of the circle, which is the code of both the circle. It is called common code. This is called common code. But the question is, he says prove that center lies on the perpendicular bisector of the common code. Now, we don't know where the center lies, right? But if I draw a certain line, easily we can detect that where the center lies. If I join this OC, then you can easily say that ma'am, center lies on OC. Many O and C go join Karbiya. It means the centers of the two circles, one is the center O, another is the center C. They lie on the line OC. They lie on the line OC. OC line pay centers lie karre. Or hame proof kya karna hai? Center lies on the perpendicular bisector of the common code. Hame ni pata, hame itna pata hai ki center OC pe lie karre. Or wo kata hai, Proof karo ki center lies on perpendicular bisector of common code. Perpendicular bisector of common code. That means if we prove that OC is perpendicular bisector of common code, that is AB, then we will be able to say that center lies on the perpendicular bisector of the common code. Center lies on OC. And we want to prove that center lies on the perpendicular bisector of the common code. That means, agar hum ye bata de, ki this OC, it is having that quality. That means it becomes the perpendicular bisector of the common code. Then the things will automatically unfold themselves. So that means we want to prove, we will prove that OC is the perpendicular bisector of common code where the centers lie. Right? So, figure after making the figure, we will write the given. Let us write the given. Given. Two circles with center. With centers. O and C and the common code AB. Two circles with the centers O and C and the common code AB. Here OC is line segment where where center lies. OC is the line segment where center lies. OC is the line segment where center lies. To prove Center lies on perpendicular bisector of common code. Center lies on perpendicular bisector of common code. That is to prove that is OC is perpendicular bisector of 
indirectly we know that center lies on oc it is very much clear from the figure that center lies on oc but we want to prove that center lies on the perpendicular bisector of the common core so if we are able to prove that oc is nothing but the perpendicular bisector of common core ab then the result will follow automatically that means our target is to prove oc is perpendicular bisector of ab this we want to prove right chaliye ah uh, humne nikala yaha oc is line segment where center lies let it meets ab at m let it meets ab at m hum ye suppose kar lete hain ki ye jo centers hain इनको ज्वाइन करके जो लाइन आई है वो ए बी को एम पॉइंट पे मीट भी कर रही है ठीक है सो गिवन हो गया टू प्रूव हो गया फिगर हो गया वन कंस्ट्रक्शन इज नीडेड हियर लेट अस डू दैट कंस्ट्रक्शन पॉइंट कंस्ट्रक्शन इज दिस फिगर let us pack this figure from all the side reason is there we need this step of construction later on you will realize that why so join oa ob bc and ac join oa ob bc and ac join oa ob bc and ac सबको ज्वाइन कर लिया नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू प्रूव दैट ओ सी इज परपेंडिकुलर बाई सेक्टर ऑफ कॉमन कोड यू नो वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ परपेंडिकुलर बाई सेक्टर इफ दिस लाइन एल वॉन्ट्स टू बिकम परपेंडिकुलर बाई सेक्टर ऑफ दिस लाइन ए बी देन वट प्रॉपर्टी इट शुड सेटिस्फाई इट शुड divide this line segment into two equal parts then it will become bisector l will become bisector and moreover it should make 90 degree on both the sides then it will be perpendicular so oc will become perpendicular bisector of ab even only then only when am is equal to mb and these angles are 90 degree that means our target is to prove am is equal to mb and angle 1 and 2 they are 90 degree each only then we will be able to prove that oc is perpendicular bisector of common code ab on which center lies therefore center lies on the perpendicular bisector of common code now the thing is we want to prove this am is equal to mb and this angle 1 is equal to angle 2 for that again we need congruency without congruency we can't prove that two geometrical parts should be equal some of the student they said that ma'am to prove am is equal to mb i'm just proceeding with proof some of the student says ma'am to prove am is equal to mb you just take two triangles one is oa m another is ob m and prove their congruency i do agree with them to prove their congruency we need three things And three things are O A is equal to O B radii. Chalega, bilkul thi. O M O M common. From where the third thing I should take to prove O A M is congruent to O B M. Bata sakta hai koi? Third thing, kahan se lai jaye? In two triangles ki congruency prove karne ke liye. O A M and O B M की congruency prove करने के लिए from where I should take the third thing? Yes Navedita. Yes. Ma'am A M equal to B M. वो तो हमें prove करना है by sector तो prove करने जो prove करना है वही use करते हैं। हम्म गलत अंशिया अंशिया ओ ए इज इक्वल टू ओ बी रेडिया ऑफ द सेम सर्कल वो तो मैंने ले लिया दैट ऑन टेकिंग ओ ए इज इक्वल टू ओ बी ओ एम ओ एम कॉमन व्हाट विल बी द थर्ड थिंग
yes 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 rajvinder you tell mam angle aom or mob which angle angle mein teen teen letters hote hain you are telling me the two letters two letters can't mam aom speak up which two angles angle aom and bom these two angles ye wale yes ma'am how om uh, angle bisector of angle o how you know om is uh, angle bisector of angle o we haven't done any theorem yet koi theorem hi nahi kiya abhi tak humne no theorem is applying this that uh, this these angles they will be equal otherwise we have to use this only यूज हम यही करेंगे मैं यहाँ पे वन टू मार्क करने लगी हूँ कि वन एंड टू इक्वल है बट वन एंड टू की इक्वेलिटी हमें लानी पड़ेगी पहले किसी और कांग्रेंसी के थ्रू वन एंड टू डायरेक्ट इक्वल नहीं होंगे वन एंड टू की भी कांग्रेंसी हम लेके आएंगे इक्वेलिटी uh, हम लेके आएंगे यूजिंग द डिफरेंट कांग्रेंसी बट दैट कांग्रेंसी इज दैट मीन्स before starting that ओ ए एम एंड ओ बी एम टू बी कांग्रेंट बिफोर प्रूविंग दैम टू बी कांग्रेंट we will prove that oac and obc they are congruent and by cpcp one is equal to 2 which is our requirement so before actual congruency which is needed to prove the required result we will prove the congruency which will help us to prove the actual congruency so i'm taking this is the uh, i can say dangerous step of the question which uh, the student used to forget that in triangle oac and triangle obc if we take this triangle oac and triangle obc so it's very uh, true that oa is equal to ob these are the radii of the circle uh this circle my circle one circle two is given circle one ki radius hai dono oa and ob so being radii of the same circle they will be equal so next you can uh, have ac is equal to bc second circle ki radius ac equal to bc this is these are the radii of the second circle being the radii of the circle and uh, next oc oc common oc is equal to oc common so three sides are gay so therefore by sss congruency sss rule triple s rule triangle oac congruent to triangle obc and when triangle oac is congruent to triangle obc then by cpct you can have angle 1 equal to angle 2 this implies angle 1 is equal to angle 2 by cpct mark it to be equation number 1 this is your equation number 1 angle 1 is equal to angle 2 this is your equation number 1 ab aate hain hum apni main congruency pe jiske jiski help se we need to prove yes jj sisters what do you want to ask ma'am second wale mein ac is equal to bc nahi hoga oh sorry yes of course it is ac right chaliye now we are going to start with the main congruency which will lead us to the to the result chaliye so i am taking triangle oam and triangle obm triangle oam and triangle obm so two things are very much clear oa is equal to ob they are the radii of the same circle oam om common figure se clear hai oam om common 
angle one is equal to angle two proved above from one if you are using one using equation number one so they can zara which rule is formed oa om angle one oa om angle one sas so by sas rule triangle o a m is congruent to triangle o b m triangle o a m congruent to triangle o b m and when the two triangles get congruent then by cp ct we can say that a m is equal to b m this code a m this part a m of the code is equal to part b m mark it to be equation number 3 Half results been proved. We want to prove that OC is perpendicular bisector of AB. That means OC is dividing AB into two parts, and wherever OC meeting AB, it is making angle of ninety degree on both the sides. So one thing we have proved that OC is bisector of AB. Now we are going to prove that this is perpendicular bisector of AB. So for that we need this angle. I am marking it to be three. And this angle, I am marking it to be four. If this three and four, it's not visible. Just a minute. This angle is angle three, and here this angle is angle four. If this three and four, ये जो मैंने मार्क किए, if they will become ninety degree each, then OC will be perpendicular to AB as well. But you know, whenever we have to prove the two angles to be ninety degree each, first of all, their sum should be one eighty, and that is so. Three and four ka sum one eighty hai because they are sitting on a straight line. So sum to one eighty hua hua. And if we want to prove that each of them is ninety, they should be equal to each other. Can anyone tell me that this three and four how they can be equal? This angle three and this angle four how they can be equal? Yes, Tushar, you can tell. Ma'am, by CPCT. Very good. We have proved the congruency. OAM is congruent to OBM. So OAM the angle three and OBM the angle four by CPCT they will be equal. Even this AM equal to BM is also by CPCT. Now three and four they are equal by CPCT. We want them to be ninety degrees. Moreover, three and four. Sitting on a straight line, their sum will be one hundred eighty. So we will write three plus four one hundred eighty. Three and four are equal each. One can be replaced by the another. Two times angle three is one hundred eighty. Angle three is equal to ninety. As four is equal to three, so four is also ninety. So you can write three equal to four equal to ninety. Equation number four. Yes, Anshya. Ma'am, जो perpendicular वाला proof करने हो, हम ऐसे भी कर सकते हैं ना कि a line from the center of the circle if it bisects the chord and it is perpendicular that to that chord. Line which bisect, repeat करना जरा line which. Line from the center which bisects the chord. Ah, so you are saying that. Uh, By uh, bisect, we have proved then perpendicular automatically can be taken from the uh, theorem we have done earlier. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. The theorem is to be mentioned there, so better that we have proof is go and show it. Depends upon the marks also because the direct theorem we have used. Now, this is why we cannot do it because the theorem has been deleted. Result is there. Okay. So three equal to four ninety is equal to ninety. एम इज इक्वल टू बी एम हो गया दोनों चीजें हमारे पास आके इक्वेशन नंबर थ्री एंड फोर में बैठ गई दैट ए एम इज इक्वल टू बी एम एंड इन इक्वेशन नंबर फोर थ्री इज इक्वल टू फोर इज इक्वल टू नाइनटी सो यू विल राइट फ्रॉम थ्री एंड फोर फ्रॉम थ्री एंड फोर टू कंडीशन आर प्रूव दैट वन इज ए एम इज इक्वल टू बी एम Another is this angle. These two angles ninety. So automatically these two will be ninety. 
So whenever OC is crossing AB and meeting it at the point M, it has one effect on AB that it divides AB into two equal parts and moreover, it makes angle of 90 degree there. So this implies that OC is perpendicular bisector of AB. OC is perpendicular bisector of AB. Moreover, centers lies on OC. So this implies centers lies on perpendicular bisector of common core. Centers lies on perpendicular bisector of common core. Yeh hame prove karna tha that uh, if two intersecting circles are such that they are having one common core, then the center lies on the perpendicular bisector of the common core. This was what we want to do. Centers lies on OC and OC was what? OC was the perpendicular bisector. Centers lies on OC. OC is the perpendicular bisector of the common core. So this is all about this theorem and this is also going to be important. You will remember it as a result also that when we are having two circles, two intersecting circles and one common code, then their centers always bisect the common code and that is perpendicular to the code as well. Tenth, may aap dekho ke, there will be so many questions in which directly we'll use this result that the line joining the centers, it divides the common code into two equal parts and moreover, it is perpendicular to the common code as well. Okay. Chalye. Now we will uh, discuss uh, two results again without proof, proofs, proofs, they've been de deleted from the syllabus. So we discuss karte hai results, theorems ke. Chalye. So I'm discussing theorem number 10.6. If you're having a circle with center O, And we are having two equal codes like this. With this condition that these two codes are equal. AB is equal to CD. AB and CD are two equal codes. Then the result says, without proof, we will remember this result. And what this result says? Result says that equal codes are equidistant from the centers, from the center. Yani ki AB ka center se distance, agar mein OM manu, or CD ka center se distance, agar mein OM manu, then this OM, this is equal to OM. Equal codes are equidistant from the center. Ek chiz mein yaha pe batana chaungi aapko. Suppose, मैं कोड की लेंथ को घटा बढ़ा दूं। अभी तो मैंने कोड्स को इक्वल बोला ना, जैसे कि आप ये देखो। This is your diameter passing through the center, and this is some another code which is not passing through the center. कौन सेंटर के ज़्यादा नज़दीक है? 
डायमीटर ए बी और दिस कोड सी डी जे जे सिस्टर्स मैम डायमीटर ए बी डायमीटर ए बी इट मीन्स लार्जर द कोड इफ दे आर नॉट इक्वल इन लेंथ लार्जर द कोड नियर टू द सेंटर एम सी क्यू में आ सकता है ये जितनी कोड लार्ज होगी उतनी ही सेंटर के नजदीक होगी एंड स्मॉलर द कोड फार अवे फ्रॉम द सेंटर जितनी स्मॉलर होगी जितनी छोटी होती जाएगी उतनी ही सेंटर से दूर जाती जाएगी लार्जर द कोड नियर टू द सेंटर स्मॉलर द कोड फार अवे फ्रॉम द सेंटर इक्वल द कोड इक्वी डिस्टेंट फ्रॉम द सेंटर तीनों चीजें आपने याद रखनी है इक्वल द कोड इक्वी डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द सेंटर लार्जर द कोड Nearer to the center, smaller the cord, far away from the center. So, जब जब जितनी large होएगी, उतनी center क्योंकि हमें पता है diameter is the largest cord और उसका center वो center में से pass ही कर रहा है. इसका मतलब उसका center से कोई distance रहा ही नहीं. It passes through the center. So, larger the cord, nearer to the center, smaller the cord, far away from the center. Equal the cords, equally distant from the center. It's very important result of this. Without proof, we will remember it. And theorem ten point seven is its converse. Let me tell you that also. It says if two cords are equally distant from the center, converse का मतलब यही होता है. Given two proof proof given. If two cords are equally distant from the center, then they will be equal to each other. AB is equal to C. We'll continue tomorrow. Remember the results very sincerely because these. Uh, results are going to be the backbone of the coming exercises so do these results and do remember